Leo, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for June 26th through July 2nd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Leo, I'm away again. I told you if you've been with me for a while and if you've been listening, I told you that this year is going to be a very busy year for me. I keep on bouncing places. So I bounced to New Jersey for a little bit and Blue is with us. Blue is here. So if you hear a little squeaking in the background, that's him. Okay, let's see Leo. And I drove all day, so you know, I've been testing your patience, I know, but there you go. You like it, the overall energy, that's you. The strength card, definitely Leo showing up strong in the reading. So we'll see what that's about. We'll see. In the recent past, the lovers, the four of cups, the moon. Uh, you've been holding a little bit of an energy of I'm upset, I'm disappointed, something like that in regards to a very strong connection you got going on. Um, but you've been keeping it to yourself. You're like, yeah, I'm not agreeing with a lot of things here and I don't like a lot of things here but you know what I'm not gonna tell anybody and I feel like you went to the extent of not even being honest with yourself about it much you know just feeling it but not really exploring it in the current situation the two of swords the page of pentacles the emperor quite confused in your head about I kind of get the sense that this is your energy that this is something um that you may want to do or something that you're starting or planning to start to do something something it has to do possibly with the sense of security for yourself something for you you know that you may want to engage in something you may want to learn how to do uh but there's a little bit of confusion there there's a little bit of where do i start how do i start when do i say you know things like that um okay in the uh, immediate, well, also this could be somebody else's energy attached to you. Um, so I don't know. In the immediate future, the High Priestess, the Three of Cups, the Six of Swords. Intuitively, you feel this closeness to someone. You feel like, oh, we should spend more time together. You know, there's that kind of almost like your heart is pulling you in a particular direction towards someone. Um, I'm not sure if you're going with it though. You know, there's a little bit of, okay, I feel this, but uh, -uh a little bit of that going on. So I don't know what this is about, but let's clarify. Let me clarify the strength card. <clears throat> the Hierophant, the Magician, the Empress. Oh wow, there's there's quite a strong connection at play here for you. I don't know what this is to you. Someone's manifesting something big here. In all honesty, I don't feel like it's you, the one that's manifesting. I feel like you're the one that's part of this connection, but I don't know if it's you that's calling something out within this connection, but it's pretty big. You're definitely part of it. The strength card is there. I don't know. Maybe it is you. Who the hell knows? So let's do the little lovers. Two of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Wands. Um, there's been some waiting around here tied up to this connection that shows up quite strong. Uh, some numbness almost to it. You know, like nobody's doing anything. Nobody's moving anything. Nobody's saying anything. We'll just leave it at that. But I feel like maybe you wanted to change things. You wanted to turn that around. I'm not sure if you did or not. I think that's you. Could be that it's not, but I think that is you. Let me do the wait, Four of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Six of Wands. Okay. 
quite upset with where things stood at some point, especially in regards to the stability of this thing. I feel like there was no stability, in all honesty. I feel like things looked not great as far as you're concerned, because I see your perspective there looking at the situation and being like, nope, not working out, not working out. But I do see a sense of feeling almost good about it too at the end which is telling me that things may have turned around in the sense of even though it didn't feel good at some point maybe it started feeling better you know after that because i do get a sense of oh okay okay it's probably starting to pick up here uh where it's not looking as gray anymore let's do the moon Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Four of Pentacles. What is, uh, this ties up to what's happening in the current situation. Um, hmm. That's the beginning of this. That's the seed, you know, of whatever's going on here, which we'll figure out in a minute. Uh, but man, there's been a lot of overthinking and a lot of stressing about it. You know, so somebody definitely wants to do something here. They're not telling a soul. They're not. It's it's just them and them. Um, a hell lot of stress there. A whole lot of stress. Let's do the Two of Swords in the current situation. Three of Cups, the Chariot, the Justice card. Somebody wants to bring something together here. In a very beautiful, beautiful way. Uh, there's a whole lot of love. There's a whole lot of energy that just feels right on top of things, especially when it comes to the love aspect here. Uh, but again, so much stressing about it that I feel like it's not even happening. The energy is definitely open towards that. The, the universe is like all the blessing in this, but the overthinking aspect is just kind of stopping things there. And again, I'm not sure who this is at this point. It's very hard to tell. I do get that there's two energy, yours and somebody else that's really connected to you in the, in the sense of the energies are looking almost the same. So it's very hard to tell who the hell is who. For the Page of Pentacles, you get the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Wands. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. <clears throat> that's your energy right there with the king of wands there's a lot of defensiveness almost a little bit of rejection to you uh attached to your energy as this other energy is stressing out about possibly wanting to approach the situation in a very beautiful way here uh now i'm not sure if you're holding this rejection or defensiveness or if they're perceiving this as being uh, the case. And I feel like I'm kind of starting to figure out at least who's who. For the Emperor, you get the Fool, the Emperor again, the Four of Cups. Yeah, one energy wants to approach the other, but they're so stressed out about it that they're not even doing it. And then there's the perception of, well, the other is going to reject me anyway, because they have this kind of wall um in front of them when it comes to me so that's when you get to choose who the hell is who because i still don't know I, 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 I would say you're the one that's perceived as rejecting this while the other energy is the one that wants to approach this but it's not because they're stressed out but it could be the other way around um that would be my guess for what's going on here. Let me do the High Priestess in the immediate future. The King of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. Um, someone might actually align more with their intuition than with their thoughts. And that would definitely help them align with what they feel. And what they feel is a lot of love here. And from that place, they're coming in with an energy of, I want to work on things, no matter how hard it is. Yeah, I know. So there's definitely a flipping of a page here from thoughts stopping this into intuition possibly starting to flow this. Um, let's do the Three of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, 
yeah, there's a potential for either a friendship or something to come together because even though the perception of one of you is that of rejecting this, I don't see that at all as the energies come together. So there could be something that wants to come together more as a collaboration or a partnership of some sort. But underneath all of that, you know, the, the bottom layers of it all, there's a lot of love there um, on both sides. So things are definitely looking like they're flowing more in the immediate future rather than just kind of seeing them and then being stopped by a lot of overthinking. Let's do the Six of Swords in the immediate future, the Ace of Cups, the Strength card, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, things are heading in a pretty good direction here. I see both energies um, interacting from those energies of love, from a very flowing energy. Um, yours, whoever this is to you. So there's definitely a whole lot of a flow in contrast with the 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 sense of feeling stuck that's happening now. Um, so yeah, I still don't know who's who. You get to determine that. But uh, I do get that there's, um, someone's flipping a page here for sure. Man, this table, I swear to God. What is this material? I don't know. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. Queen of Wands, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. This energy of uh, something is attached to you as an energy of done deal, dead and buried. That energy is kind of flowing away. So it could be a situation that you've been dealing with in the past that may have um, come to a close or it brought you to the feeling of this is never gonna happen or it's never gonna work out. It could be that it's trying to revive or trying to come back in a very different way, you know, very flowing kind of way. So I have no idea what this is about but it's pretty big so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye